Hello, sports fans and hockey fans. I got another hockey game for you today. Card and dice. Basic game because it, basic game plays quicker. And, uh, you know, there's other stuff I have to worry about if I do like the advanced or super advanced. So today we're going to have the 2016 2017 Chicago Blackhawks, who were 50 and 20, 50, 23 and 9. Going up against the 2010-2011 Philadelphia Flyers, who were 47, 23, and 12. So both teams closely matched. And uh, Philadelphia will be the home team. Chicago will be the visitor. And uh, I guess with that, we're going to get underway. I will, t I will uh, go over the lines as they come up. The goalie matchup is going to be Sergei Bobrovsky for Philadelphia from the 2010-2011 uh, season. He played 54 games and he had a save he had a goals against average of 259 and a save percentage of 91.5%. He'll be going up against Corey Crawford for the Blackhawks in and in 2016-17. He played 55 games, had a 255 goals against average, and a 91.8% save percentage. So both goalies very close, very closely related in, in their statistics. Uh, the first line for Philadelphia, the first offensive line, will be Scott Hartnell at left wing, Chris Versteg at uh, center, and Andreas Nodal at right wing. Their left their uh their left defenseman will be Sean O'Donnell and their right defenseman will be Braden Coburn. And for Chicago, their first line will be Artemi Panarin at left wing, Jonathan Taze at center, and Patrick Kane at right wing. And their starting defense will be Trevor Van Riemsdyk at left defenseman and Nicholas Halmerson at right defenseman. So with all of that having been said, let's get underway with the game. We'll do the uh, dice roll. 16. We're going to refer, we're going to use the advanced face-off chart. And 16 is um, 16, let's see. Uh, we've got Versteeg as a zero and Taze as a plus three. So 16 and uh, plus yeah, is gonna be inferior right wing. So it's gonna to go to the uh, starting, the puck will, the puck will start with Andreas Nodal and then we will pick the card he is the uh, home, and it says lose puck outside shot for center. Now that is Jonathan Taze, and he is a four at penetrating. He will try to penetrate inside. He does get inside, and so he has an inside shot, and that is a 10. And 10 on the inside shot is save and left defenseman. So um, Sean O'Donnell has the puck. And we will pick another uh, card and again refer to home. And passing L for O'Donnell is lose puck to center. So Taze has it again. He will try to get inside again. He does not do it. And so he, that loses the puck to Chris Versteeg. And again, we pick a card and look at the home passing K. Inside shot for center. Um, we will uh, refer that to someone else. Uh, probably the left wing since the center is the guy that had it and that was on a pass. And so uh, it's going to be an inside shot for Scott Hartnell. And that is a nine from the inside. It's a save any player. So they will give it to, uh, they'll give it to Kane. They'll give it to Kane. Taze has been pretty busy. Pick the card and look at visitor. Lose puck outside shot for right defenseman. So the right defenseman has an outside shot. That's Braden Coburn. And he is going to pass the puck, so we'll pick the card and look at the passing. 
That's his uh, inside shot for left wing. Um, so inside shot for left wing. Scott Hartnell. And he's taking the inside shot. That is a nine. I think we had that before to save any player. They will give it to Taze this time. And we'll pick the uh, next action card. He's the visitor and opposing penalty rating. Uh, penalty is a C, so that is going to be a penalty on Philadelphia. We will pick two cards to elapse the time. And then we will look at the penalty. Roll the dice. It's an eight. And eight on the penalty is if the left wing is a three, a three or more defensively. So... Um, let's see. Uh, the left wing defense is a two, so it isn't. So it's two or less. There's an outside shot for the center. So outside shot for first speed. And he gets a five, which is a save defensive center. Outside shot for right wing. So Nodal has an outside shot. That is a five. That is going to be a save defensive right defenseman. And then inside shot for any player, they're going to give that to Hartnell. So Hartnell's going to get another inside shot. Six on the inside is lose to the right wing. And so that is Kane. And since that was the last thing on the power play, we will go with that. And so now... Kane has the puck, and he is the visitor, and it says lose puck outside shot for left defenseman. So that is going to be Sean O'Donnell. Outside shot for him is a two, and it's a goalie rating. And so we will roll the dice, and we will look at Corey Crawford. And that is a six, and it's a goal for Sean Hartnell. Sean O'Donnell. <laughs> I'm probably getting my guys mixed up here, but... Um, yeah, so that is going to be O'Donnell with the goal. And uh, the visitors, or wait, the home has a uh, one nothing lead. So we will do a face-off. Roll the dice. That is a 14. 14 on the faceoff. Inferior any player. So we're going to give it to Nodal. And he is the home team. Home says passing J. That's an inside shot for the center. So Versteeg has the inside shot. We'll roll the dice. That is a four on the inside, and that is going to be a save defensive left defenseman. So Trevor Van Riemsdyk has it, and we have a forward line change. So the lines will change here, and that means that for Philadelphia, you have J James Van Riemsdyk at left wing, Claude Giroux at center, and Jeff Carter at right wing. For Chicago, you're going to have Ryan Hartman at left wing, Artem Anzimov at center, and Marian Hossa is the right wing. But Trevor Van Riemsdyk has control of the puck, and he is the visiting team. Opponent defense 13, and his defense 13 is takes the puck away. So Coburn takes the puck away and has it. And now we pick the card we refer to home, and it's lose puck outside shot for left defenseman. So uh, Van Riemsdyk has an outside shot. He's going to he's going to pass, and the passing section says inside shot for left wing. So that is Ryan Hartman, Ryan Hartman of Chicago, with the inside shot, and that is a three, and that's going to be a goal one to ten. We'll roll the dice. It is not, and so. We will say that it's a face-off, and we'll roll the dice again for the face-off. 
that is a six. Six on the face-off chart. And uh, as an Anzimov is a plus one. And Giroux is a plus one, so it's an even. And even on six is home right defenseman. So the right defenseman is uh, Coburn. Coburn has the puck. He is the home team, and it says lose puck, possible breakaway. We'll pick the card and look at the breakaway section, and it is the center. So Anzimov has a breakaway. We'll roll the uh, dice. That's a seven on the breakaway, and that's a goalie rating. And we're going to roll the bones for uh, Bobrovsky. And that is a four, which is a face-off. So we've got another face-off. And we will roll the dice. And it's a 20, and it's a 20 even. And that's going to be visitor right wing. So Hosa has controlled the puck. He is the visiting team. Visitor says lose puck outside shot for opponent. That is the left wing, James Van Riemsdyk. He's a penetration four, so he'll try to penetrate. He does get inside, and so he has an inside shot. That is a three on the inside, and it's going to be a save right wing. The right wing has it. That's Hosa, and the defensive lines change. So defensively now for um, defensively for Philadelphia, you have Chris Pronger at left defenseman and Matt Carl. Or, or uh, Chris Pronger at right defenseman, Matt Carl at left defenseman. And for Chicago, you have Duncan Keith at left defenseman and Brian Campbell at right defenseman. But Hosa has the puck. And we will look at the visitor section, and it says outside shot for center. So Anzimov has an outside shot. He is a four penetrating. He'll try to get inside. He does not, and so he loses the puck. To the uh, center, Giroux. He is the home team. We'll pick the card and look at home. Lose puck outside shot for left wing. Hartman is also a four. He'll try to penetrate. He doesn't get inside, and so he loses the puck to Jeff Carter. Jeff Carter now has the puck. He is the home team. Out uh, Opponent defense 12. So the left wing defense 12 is takes the puck away. Hartman takes the puck away from Carter. Home team has it, or visitor team has it. Opponent defense 14. Carter's defense 14 is an outside shot. Hartman has the outside shot. He'll try to penetrate. He does make it inside. And that is an eight on the inside, and that's going to be a rebound. We will look at the rebound section. And the rebound says, offensive right defenseman if offense rating is two. And his offense is a one, so it isn't. Um, if not, opponent has control. So that means the right wing, Jeff Carter, has control of the puck. He is the home team. Lose puck outside shot for opponent. So you got an outside shot for... Um, Hartman, Hartman again, a four getting inside, but he's going to pass. Instead, that hasn't been working, so they're going to pass. Passing, lose puck, defensive left wing has control. So that's uh, Van Riemsdyk, James Van Riemsdyk. We'll pick the card for the uh, home and refer to home. Outside shot for right wing. That's Jeff Carter. He is a four. He'll try to get inside. Oh, wait a minute. Wrong, wrong guy. He does get inside, and so his inside shot is a six. That is a goalie rating. Goalie rating for Carter, we're going to refer to uh, Corey Crawford again and roll the dice. And that is a 10, and that's going to be a face-off. So we have a face-off and even. So 11 on the face-off is home any player. They will give the puck to Jeff Carter. Jeff Carter has the puck. 
And Holmes says opponent defense 13. The defense 13 is outside shot. Carter has an outside shot. He can try to get inside, though, and he will try to do that. And he doesn't. So Hartman has the puck. He is the visiting team. Lose puck outside shot for opponent. So Jeff Carter again with an outside shot. He will again try to get inside. He again does not, and so he loses the puck back to Hartman, and there's a forward line change. So we're going to remember, try to remember, that the left wing has it. And uh, Chicago will now have, they'll make their line change. And so will Philadelphia. And so now Philadelphia has Danny Briere at left wing, Vili Lino at, at, at center, and uh, Blair Betts at right wing. And uh, Chicago has Tyler Mott at left wing, Marcus Kruger at center, and Richard Panic at right wing. And Mott has the puck. He is the visiting team. Outside shot for any player. They are going to give that to Richard Panic. And Richard Panic is a three getting inside. He's just going to take the outside shot. That is a 10. 10 is the save, and the left defenseman has it. Left defenseman is um, Matt Carl. So Matt Carl with the puck. He is the home team. Home team lose puck outside shot for right wing. So Richard Panic has an outside shot. He's a three trying to penetrate. We'll try to get him inside. He does get inside. So Panic has an inside shot. It's a seven. Seven on the inside is save, and the center gets it. That is Lino. Lino with the puck, and he is the home team. And the guy across from him, what's the penalty rating? It's a D, so he takes the puck back away. Marcus Kruger has it for Chicago. He is the uh, visitor and passing J. Passing J is inside shot for right wing. So the right wing with an... Um, inside shot. That's Richard Panic. They'll roll the dice. Chicago trying to get on the board here, but he loses to the defensive left defenseman, which is Matt Carl. And so the defensive lines change. So for Philadelphia, we're going to have a new line out there. And for Chicago, we're going to have a new line out there. So the defense for um, the defense for Philadelphia left defenseman is A Andre Mazaros, and the right defenseman is Nick Boynton. For the Chicago Blackhawks, you're going to have Johnny Oduya at left defenseman and Brent Seabrook at right defenseman. But for the moment, Philadelphia has the puck and. They're the home team, so it's an inside shot for any player. Inside shot, they're going to give to Briere. And roll the dice. It's a seven. Seven is a goalie rating. So goalie rating on Crawford. And that is a seven. It's a save either defenseman. So Oduya will take the puck. He is the visiting team. Opponent defense, 13. The right defenseman, 13, is outside shot. Oduya has an outside shot. He's just going to take it. That is a 9. 9 is a save, and the right wing comes away with it. That's going to be Blair Betts. Blair Betts with it. Home passing K is lose puck to the left wing. So um, they lose it to Tyler Mott. Mott has the puck. He's the visitor. Opponent defense 12 
is takes the puck away, and so Blair Betts takes the puck back away, and the forward lines change again. So we'll flip them over. And remember that he had the right wing has the puck. So the line out there for Chicago now is Nick Smaltz at left wing, Vinny Hintstroza Hint at center, and Tanner Caro at right wing. For Philadelphia, they have Daryl Powell at left wing, um, Nikolai. Zerdev at right wing and um, Kimo Teppanen at right wing. And home has it. Home is outside shot for right wing or uh, for left wing or right wing. So it's the left wing, Daryl Powell with the outside shot. He's just going to take it. That is a seven, and seven is going to be lose to the left defenseman. So that is Oduya. Oduya has it for Chicago. And it says opponent defense 13. That is outside shot. Oduya with an outside shot. He's going to try to pass. He will pass the puck, and it's lose puck defensive left defenseman has control. So... Um, Andre Mazaros has the puck. Um, he is the home opponent defense 13. That is takes the puck away. So Brent Seabrook takes the puck away. And he is the visitor and it's passing J. Passing J is inside shot for left wing. That will be Nick Smoltz with an inside shot. We'll roll the dice. That is an eight, which is a rebound. We look at the rebound section, and rebound says offense, any player with an offense rating of three. And uh, that would be Hin Hinstroza. We'll give it to Hinstroza on the rebound shot. That is a nine. Nine on a rebound is defense, any player. They'll give it to Jerdev. And Holmes says lose puck outside shot for left defenseman. Uh, left defenseman is Oduya. He'll just take the outside shot. That's a two on the outside shot, and it's goal one to, what is it? One to eight. Goal one to eight. And it isn't. So we'll say it's a face-off. We will do the face-off and roll it. That is a 17. Uh, you've got a zero and a zero, so it's even. 17 on the face-off, and uh, that's going to be visitor left defenseman. So, where did my puck go? Left defenseman. All right, well, anyway, we only have one card left anyway. So, Oduya has the puck. He is, oh, there it is. And he is the visitor. It's passing J. Passing J is inside shot for center. And Stroza has an inside shot as we leave the period. It's a two on the inside shot. And it's a goal, one to 12. And it is a goal on the last card of the period. And Stroza ties the game. And we have a 1-1 one, one tie as we go to the second period. So we're back for the second period between the Chicago Blackhawks and the Philadelphia Flyers. And so we will roll for the faceoff. That is a 14. And it is a... Uh, Plus two for Chicago. Uh, so let's see. 14 and a plus two is inferior right defenseman. So um, the puck 
goes to, well, where is the puck again? You seem to have lost the puck. All right, let me just grab another one. So the inferior right defenseman is Philadelphia's, and that is Braden Coburn with the puck. Oh, there it is. All right. Can't can never find it. So Braden Coburn of Philadelphia has the puck. He is the home team. And that says lose puck outside shot for left defenseman. That's Trevor Van Reensdyke of Chicago. And by the way, the first lines are out there for everybody. If you don't remember what the first lines are, go back and check it out in the first period. But anyway, as players grab the puck, I will say their names. Trevor Van Reemsdyke has it for Chicago. And um, he has, uh, let's see, outside. he has an outside shot. He is a two at penetrating. I'm going to pass with him. So passing says passing L. Passing L is lose puck to the left wing. So that's James Van Reemsdyke. He loses the puck to his brother, apparently. And uh, so now he has it. Philadelphia is the home team. We'll pick the card. Or wait a minute. Outside shot for left. Okay. Van Reemsdyke has an outside shot, but he can try to penetrate, and he will try, and he does not do it. So he loses the puck back to Patrick Kane. So now Patrick Kane has it, and he is the visitor. Outside shot for center. So Taze has an outside shot. He is a penetration four. He will try to get inside. He does not get inside, and so now he loses the puck to Claude Giroux. So we're back with the home team being in control. And it says lose puck outside shot for left wing. So that's Ant Artemi Panarin. He has an outside shot. He has a penetration four. He'll try to get inside. Nobody has been doing it lately, but he does. So he's inside. He has an inside shot, and it's a seven. Seven on inside shot is save and right wing. So Jeff Carter of Philadelphia has the puck. We will pick the card. He's home. Opponent defense 12. That is going to be takes the puck away. So... Panarin takes the puck away from Jeff Carter. Now he has it. He is the visitor. Opponent defense, 14. We look at Jeff Carter's 14 defense. It's outside shot. Panarin has an outside shot, but he'll try to get inside. He does do it barely, so he is inside, and he gets a 5 on the inside shot, and that is a goalie rating. So we will refer to Bobrovsky's goalie card, and it is a 9, and that is a save any forward. And so we will give it to Giroux. Philadelphia in control. And that says passing J. Passing J is inside shot for right wing. So there's an inside shot for Jeff Carter. He'll take it. That is a 12 on the inside shot. It's a save left defenseman. That means Trevor Van Reemsdyke has it for Chicago. And... He has an opponent defense 12. That is opponent defense applied to Braden Coburn. He takes the puck away. So Coburn has the puck for Philadelphia. And that says uh, opponent defense or opponent penalty C or a D. And it is a D. So Van Reemsdyk takes the puck back away. There is no penalty. And we have the forward lines changing. So the forward line for uh, Philadelphia is Scott Hartnell, Chris Versteeg, and uh, Andreas Nodal. The front line for Chicago now is Ryan Hartman, Artem Anzanov, Anzmimov, <laughs> and Marion Hosa. Uh, but Van, Trevor Van Reemsdyke has it for Chicago, the defenseman. 
and that says lose puck outside shot for opponent. That's Braden Coburn with an outside shot. He will, you know what? He's going to try to get inside. And he does. He's inside. So Coburn with an inside shot on a five. And that is a lose to the right wing. Marion Hosa has it for Chicago. He's a visitor. Outside shot for any player. That's going to be Anzimov. And he's going to try to get inside. He does get inside. He has an inside shot. That's a six. Six inside is a goalie rating. We will refer to Bobrovsky's card. And it's a nine. It's a save any forward. So um, they'll give it to Nodal. And uh, the home has it. Lose puck outside shot for right wing. That's Hosa. Hosa will try to get inside. He doesn't. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, he does. He's my, my bad. He does get inside. So he'll take the inside shot. Eight which is a rebound, right? Yep. We will look at the rebound section. And that says defense, any player with a defense rating of two or more. And that'll be Nodal. No, we'll give it to Hartnell because Hartnell's right across from him. Makes it cleaner. And uh, home has it. Opponent defense, or uh, opponent uh, penalty rating across from Hartnell. That is a D, so he'll take the puck away. There's no penalty. And the defensive lines change. So defensively now, you have Duncan Keith and Brian Campbell out there for Chicago on the blue line. And you have Matt Carl and Chris Pronger out there for Philadelphia. And Marion Hosa has the puck. He is the visiting team, passing J. Passing J is inside shot for left wing. So Hartman, he feeds Hartman and he has an inside shot. That is a seven. Seven on the inside is a save and a left defenseman has it. That is Matt Carroll. So the home team has control again. Inside shot for any player. They're going to give it to Versteeg. He'll take the inside shot. It's a seven. Seven is lose to the left wing. So Ryan Hartman has it for Chicago. And that says inside shot for any player. They're going to give it to Hosa. Inside shot for Marion Hosa. Eight. That's a rebound. Pick the card and the rebound says... Defensive left wing, if the defense rating is three or more on him, and uh, it isn't. So, if not, a opponent has rebound shot. So, Hosa has a rebound shot. That's the way I'm reading that. We'll roll the dice. That is a nine. Nine on a rebound breakaway is a goalie rating. We will look at Bobrovsky. That is a 10. That's going to be a rebound. So there's another rebound. Bobrovsky allows another rebound. Defensive right wing, if rating is three or more. And the right wing, his defense is not. So if not, opponent has a rebound shot. So Hosa has another rebound shot. That is a six. Six on the rebound is a goalie rating. Let's look at Bobrovsky and roll the bones. That is a 12. Save any forward. So Bobrovsky makes the save. And this time they're going to give it to Versteeg. And uh, his own team has the puck finally. Home is passing L. Lose puck to the right wing. So Hosa has the puck back. He just had it for a little while. A second ago. Lose puck outside shot for right wing. Right wing is Andreas Nodal. He is a penetration three. He'll try to get inside. He does not. And so he's going to lose the puck to Hartman. Hartman has the puck. He's the visitor. Lose puck outside shot for right defenseman. That is Chris Pronger. Chris Pronger is a penetration three. He's going to try to get inside. He does. And so Chris Pronger with an inside shot five. Is going to be a save left wing. 
Hartman has the puck for the uh, Blackhawks. And it says, loose puck outside shot for left wing. That's Hartnell. Hartnell is a four. He'll try to penetrate. That is a three. He gets inside. That is a two. That's going to be a save. And the left defenseman has it. That is Keith. But there is a forward line change. So we will make that. And uh, that means line three comes out for Chicago and for the other team too. So So the new forward line for Philadelphia is Blair Betts, Danny Briere, and Vili Lino. The front line for Chicago is Tyler Mott, Marcus Kruger, and Richard Panic. But Duncan Keith has it for Chicago. And that says, lose puck outside shot for left defenseman. That's Matt Carl. He's just going to take the outside shot. That is a six, and that's going to be a lose to the left defenseman. So Duncan Keith has the puck, the puck back, and that says passing L. Passing L is an inside shot for the right wing. That's Richard Panic. Richard Panic has an inside shot. That is an eight. It's going to be a rebound. We will look at the rebound section of the next card. Offensive right defenseman if offense rating is three or more. And it is not. If not, opponent has control. So that means Blair Betts has the puck for Philadelphia. Outside shot for any player. They'll give it to Briere, but Briere is going to try to work inside. He does get inside. So Briere with an inside shot on an 11 is a save and the left wing has it. That's Tyler Mott. Tyler Mott has it and it says possible breakaway. So we're going to pick the card, look at the breakaway section. Left defenseman if breakaway penetration is four. And uh, let's see, it is not. If not, lose puck to opponent. So that means Lino has it and there's a defensive line change. So, um, the line twos will come off. And the new defensive line for, um, for Chicago is Johnny Oduya at left defenseman and Brent Seabrook at right defenseman, and for Philadelphia, it's Mazaros at left defenseman and Boynton at right defenseman. With Lino having control of the puck, he's the home team. Outside shot for the, for the right wing, but that's him, so it would be the center. Briere, and he is a four. He'll try to work inside. He does get inside. And that is an eight, which is a rebound. Pick the rebound card. Defense, any player with a defensive rating of two or more. Um, there's got to be one on the ice. There is, in fact, and it's Kruger. Kruger will take it. He's the center. Passing K. Passing K says lose puck to the left wing. Blair Betts has it. And he is the home team. Lose puck outside shot for right defenseman. That is Seabrook. Seabrook is a two penetration, so he won't try to penetrate. He's going to pass it. And passing says lose puck defensive left con left defenseman has control. That's Mazaros. Mazaros would control the puck. Home outside shot for any player. They'll give it to Danny Briere. He'll try to penetrate because he has a good rating for that. He does get inside and it's an 8 which is a rebound. So we'll pick again and look at the rebound section. That says defense any player. 
So they will give it to Kruger. Kruger with the puck. He's the visitor. Lose puck outside shot for opponent. That's going to be Briere with the outside shot. He will, of course, try to get inside as he is good at that, and he does. And he takes the inside shot, and again, it's a rebound. So we'll look at the rebound section. Defensive right defenseman if defense rating is two or more. And uh, you got to believe that probably is the case, and it definitely is. That's Seabrook who takes the puck away. And visitor says opponent defense 12. And that's going to be takes the puck away. So Mazaros takes the puck away from Seabrook. And we have a forward line change, which means line four is going to come out for both teams. Offensive line four. So for Chicago, that's going to be Nick Schmaltz, Vinny Hintz-Stroza, and Tanner Caro. And for Philadelphia, it's going to be Nikolai Zheridev, Daryl Powell, and Daniel Cursillo. But Mazaros has the puck. And that's his outside shot for right wing. That's Cursillo. He's a penetration one, so he'll try to pass it. And passing is inside shot for right wing or center, since he is the right wing. Um, so inside shot, yep, inside shot for Pow. So Daryl Pow has an inside shot. That's a 12 on the inside. It's a save, and the right wing comes up with it. Right wing is Tanner Caro. Caro with the puck. He's a visitor. Opponent defense 13. That is an outside shot. Caro has an, ins an outside shot. He's a two. He's going to try to penetrate as a two. And he does make it inside. And he gets a seven. Seven on the inside is a goalie rating. So we're going to be looking at, again, Bobrovsky. Bobrovsky on three save any defensive player. So Bobrovsky makes the, the save, and they will give the puck to Zherdev. He's got it. He's home. Opponent defense 13. That's Caro, and that's an outside shot. Zherdev with an outside shot, but he's going to try to penetrate inside. He does get inside, so he has an inside shot. That is a four on the inside, and it's going to be Save any player. Um, they'll give it to Hinstroza. Hinstroza has it. Visitor passing J. J is inside shot for right wing. That's Tanner Caro. Caro with the inside shot on a nine is a save, and a left defenseman comes up with it. That's Mazaros with the puck, and he's home. Lose puck outside shot for left defenseman. That's Oduya. Oduya is just going to take the outside shot. That is an eight. And eight is a rebound possible deflection. Um, let's see. Do I have deflection on these cards? I'm going to say no. So we're just going to say that it is a rebound. And we'll pick the rebound card. That, it's probably an advanced game thing anyway. Uh, offense, any player with an offense rating of four. Uh, hmm. Let's see. I don't know if there is one. There isn't one. So no one with an offense rating of four. If none on the ice, any opposing player has control. We'll give it to Pow. And this is the last card of the second period. And that is, for home, opponent defense 12. The center is a takes the puck away. And that's it. And there were no goals in the second period. So we are still tied at one after two periods here in Philadelphia. We are back for the third period. And the score is 1-1 between... The Flyers and the Chicago Blackhawks. And we will do the uh, face-off. Now, uh, on one side note for the third period, 
I uh, will only be doing three offensive lines and two defensive line shifts. I mean, the shifts I'll do the regular shifts, but the fourth lines are not going. The fourth offensive lines won't play, and the third defensive lines won't play. So, it's just to let you know that's how I play the game. Once we get to the third period, um, but particularly here where the score is tied and each team wants to have their best scorers out on the ice, their best, you know, the best possible team for most of the uh, period. So with all that said, we'll do the face-off. It's a 19. It is a uh, plus two for Chicago. So Chicago's a plus two. We've got the 19 on the face-off. And it's going to be inferior left wing. So um, that'll be James Van Riemsdyk. And the first lines are out there right now. So for Philadelphia, that's Van Riemsdyk, Giroux, and Carter. And the offensive line for Chicago is Panarin, uh, Taze, and Kane. Defensively for Chicago, it's uh, Trevor Ra Van Riemsdyk and Nicholas Harl Harlmesson. And for the... Uh, Philadelphia Flyers, it's O'Donnell and Coburn. So uh, Van Riemsdyk has the puck. Tr James Van Riemsdyk has the puck. And uh, Holmes says, lose puck outside shot for opponent. So that's going to be Patrick Kane. He is a four uh, penetration. He'll try to penetrate. He does not, which means he loses it back to James Van Riemsdyk. And we pick another card. And Holmes says, outside shot for uh, right wing. So um, that would be Jeff Carter. Carter is a four. He will try to penetrate. He does. So he has an inside shot, and that's an eight, which will be a rebound, and this happened a lot in the second period. Uh, rebound, offensive left defenseman if rating is three or more. Um, the left defenseman's offensive rating is only a one, so he loses the puck to the opponent, and that is Panarin. And so now Panarin has the puck, and that says opponent defense 13, and that is an outside shot. So Panarin has an outside shot. He can try to penetrate, and he will. And he does not. So he loses the puck back to Jeff Carter. We're just going back and forth. It's like a tennis game here. Lose puck outside shot for right wing. So Kane has an outside shot. Patrick Kane does. He'll try to penetrate. He does. Finally, somebody gets inside. And he gets a six. And six is going to be a goalie rating. And we will refer to Mr. Bobrovsky's card. And roll the bones. And it's a face-off. So uh, they force a face-off. We'll roll for that. Seven on a plus two on the face-off is uh, going to be superior left wing. So um, that would give the puck to... I always put the puck somewhere, and I don't remember where, and then I can't see where it is. Um, there it is. It mixes right in with the, with the, with the board. But anyway, um, Panarin has the puck. And uh, we refer to the visitor section. Outside shot for right wing. That, again, is Patrick Kane. He will try to get inside. That is a 12. He is inside. That is a 9. 9 is going to be a save, and the left wing has the puck. That's James Van Riemsdyk of Philadelphia. And it says, possible breakaway. So we'll pick the card, and we'll see what the breakaway section says. Right defenseman at breakaway penetration is four. And uh, it is not. So he loses the puck back to Kane. And um, visitor says, passing L. Passing L is inside shot for any player. They're going to give that to Taze. So Jonathan Taze with an inside shot. That's a 12 on the inside, and that's going to be lose to the defensive left defenseman, who is Sean O'Donnell. And Holmes says, lose puck outside shot for left defenseman. Now, left defenseman is Trevor Van Riemsdyk, and 
he is going to just take the outside shot. That is a three. Three is lose to the defensive right wing. So Jeff Carter will have it, except it won't be Jeff Carter because we have a forward line change. And so we're going to flip them over, flip them. And so now the offensive line for Chicago is uh, Ryan Hartman, Artem Anizimov, and Marion Hosa. And for Philadelphia, it's Scott Hartnell, Chris Vertigue, Verstig, and Andreas Nodal. And Nodal is the one with the puck. Refer to the home section, and it says lose puck outside shot for opponent. That's Hartman. Hartman is a four penetration, so he will try to get inside. He does, and so he'll take the inside shot. That is a 10. 10 inside is a uh, save, and the right wing has the puck. So that's Andreas Nodal. The home team in control, and they lose puck outside shot for left wing. That is Hartman again. Hartman will just take the outside shot. The last time, it would have been a goalie rating. But seven is going to be a save in the right wing. So the right wing has the puck back. That's Nodal. Again, we're playing tennis here, back and forth. Uh, home is outside shot for the center. So Versteeg has an outside shot. He's a penetration four. He'll try to get inside. He does. And so he'll take that shot, and it's a two, and it's a goal one to 18. Now, this is going to be bigness, and there it is. Versteeg does get the goal for Philadelphia. And I'm going to write that down. And Philadelphia takes a two to one lead. So we're going to have another face off. And let me roll the dice for that. That is an 18. 18, and we've got a zero and a plus one. So it's a plus one overall. Plus one and 18 is a visitor right defenseman. So the visitor's right defenseman is uh, going to be Nicholas Harmanson. Harmanson? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Um, so, uh, visitor says passing L. Passing L is loose puck to the center. So, Versteeg has it, and we have a defensive line change. So, um, the de defense for Chicago is going to be Duncan Keith and Brian Campbell. And for Philadelphia, it will be Matt Carl and Chris Pronger. And Versteeg has the puck right now. He is the home team. And that says outside shot for any player. That will be, they'll give it to Hartnell. He'll try to work inside. He doesn't, so he loses the puck to the right wing. That's Hosa. Hosa with the puck. He's a visitor passing. J is inside shot for left wing. So that's Hartman. Ryan Hartman has an inside shot. Chicago trying to tie this game up. 11 is going to be a save in the right defenseman. So... Chris Pronger has it for Philadelphia. And we'll pick the card. And Holmes says opponent defense 12. Opponent defense 12 is takes the puck away. So Duncan Keith takes the puck away from Pronger on a nice hit. And we have the visitor saying the guy across from him, Pronger, um, penalty-wise, is a C. And so there is a penalty on Pronger of Philadelphia. We're going to pick two cards so that we can, uh, you know, put the time off. And then we're going to roll the dice and see what the uh, what Chicago will get. It's a 10. Uh, 10 if the right wing is a two or more defensively. Um, he is. Um, so it's going to be outside shot for the left wing. Um, let's see. Yeah. Outside shot for the left wing is Hartman. So we'll take that. It's a six. 
Six is save any player. Then there's an outside shot for the center. That is going to be An Anzimov. That is an eight, which would be a rebound, except it won't. An outside shot for the right wing. So that's Hosa taking an outside shot. That is a nine. Nine on the outside is goalie rating. Roll it. And that's a seven. And that's going to be goal. Chicago ties the game up. So Hosa gets, a, gets the uh, game time goal. And we have a 2 2 game. It is 2 to 2. And we will do the face off. That is a 14. And uh, 14 with uh, plus one is an inferior right defenseman. So let's see. He was a zero. He was, uh, yeah. So the right defenseman is Chris Pronger. Comes away with it on the home team. Passing K. Passing K is inside shot for the center. That's Versteeg with an inside shot. That is going to be an eight. And that's going to be a rebound. We pick the card for the rebound. And that says offensive left wing. So um, Scott Hartnell has the rebound shot. That is a 10. 10 is a goal 1 to 14. And it is. And so Hartnell gets a, gets a goal. And Philadelphia takes the lead back. So we have a lot of scoring, more scoring in this period than in any of the other periods um, really combined. And uh, the score is now 3-2 to two, Philadelphia. And there will be a forward line change just as we're doing that. So that means line threes will come out. put the line threes out there and then we will have the face off that is a 15 uh, face off plus one and plus one so it's even 15 and even is visitor left wing so the puck will go to Tyler Mott and that is the new offensive line. The offensive line for Chicago is Tyler Mott, Marcus Kruger, and Richard Panic. And for Philadelphia, it's Blair Betts, Danny Briere, and Ville Leno. But uh, right now, Mott has the puck. Refer to the visitor, it says outside shot for any player. Uh, they'll give it to Panic, and Panic's going to try to get inside. He's only a three, though, and he does not get inside. He loses the puck. To Blair Betts, but they had to take that chance. Uh, Holmes says, lose puck outside shot for center. That's Kruger. Kruger is just going to take the outside shot. That is a five, and that's going to be a save, and the left wing comes away with it. So that's Betts of Philadelphia with the puck. And that says passing L. Passing L is lose puck to any player, so they will give that puck to Mott. And that says loose puck outside shot for right wing. So Lino has an outside shot. He's a three. He'll try to penetrate, and he does not. So he loses the puck back to Mott, and we have a defensive line change. So the third lines will, or no, the uh, we're going to go right back to the first line for both teams. That's what I said, and that's what we're going to do. So Sean O'Donnell... And Coburn are back out there for Philadelphia. And Trevor Van Riemsdyk and Nicholas Harmlinson are back out there for Chicago. So uh, with that in mind, you got Mott with the puck. 
He's the visitor. It says lose puck outside shot for right defenseman. That is Coburn who has it. He'll just take the shot because they're playing with house money. They've got a one, a one goal lead. And 11 is a save and the right defenseman has the puck. So that's Harlinson. He's got the puck and he's the visitor. And it says lose puck outside shot for left wing. That is Blair Betts. And he will uh, just take the outside shot. It's given to him, so he'll take it. Lose to the right defenseman. So Harmonson has the puck back. Uh, lose puck outside shot for opponent. That would be Sean O'Donnell, and he will pass it. He's going to try to pass it. And the passing says inside shot for right wing. So that is going to be Lino. Lino has an inside shot. That is a five, and that's going to be a save left defenseman. Trevor Van Riemsdyk has it for Chicago. And then it says opponent defense 13, and that is takes the puck away. So Braden Coburn takes the puck away from Van Riemsdyk. He is the uh, home passing K. Lose puck to right wing. So Richard Panic now has it. And... That says opponent defense 12, and that is takes the puck away. So Blair Betts takes the puck away from Panic, and now they've got it. Forward lines change. We will go back to the first lines. Uh, so So for uh, Philadelphia, you have James Van Riemsdyk, Claude Giroux, and Jeff Carter out there. For Chicago, you have Panarin, Taze, and Kane. And Van Riemsdyk has the puck. Home says outside shot for right wing. That's Carter. Now he can try to go inside, and he will. 18, he does not make it inside. So that means Panarin has the puck for Chicago. They've got to hurry up and do something here. Uh, you've got a uh, opponent defense 13. So opponent defense 13 is outside shot. Panarin has an outside shot. He is a four penetration. He'll try to penetrate. He does, and he'll take the inside shot. It's a seven. Seven on the inside is a save, and the right wing comes away with it. That is Jeff Carter. And um, at this point, I think they're going to... Yeah, they sh really should try to pull the goalie right now, because we're getting down to the uh, near the end of the period. Um However, Philadelphia has the puck, so Chicago wouldn't pull the goalie yet. But there's only one more card, so anyway, <laughs> we'll see what, how that works out for him. Uh, Holmes' opponent defense 13. That is outside shot. Carter with an outside shot. He'll try to penetrate. He does make it inside. And he has an 11 on an inside shot, and that's going to be a save. Left defenseman has the puck for uh, Chicago. And we're going to treat this just like a, uh, like a power play. We're going to go, we're going to run off two cards. Uh, and uh, I, I don't know if this is the way to do it, but this is the way I am doing it. So um, we're going to roll the dice and look at the 14. Number 14 was rolled. If two or two or more four-rated defensive players are out there for Philadelphia. So let's see. Uh, there are not. So if one or less, outside shot for the right wing. So the right wing is... Uh, panic, or is Kane. Kane is the right wing. He has an outside shot. As an eight, it would be normally a rebound, but it isn't. So, uh, outside shot for the left wing. That's going to be an outside shot for Panarin. That is a three, and that's going to be a save right defenseman. 
Um, outside shot for the center, that's going to be Taze. And that's going to be an 11. Outside shot doesn't work. And inside shot for left wing, that is Panarin. And that is a 7. And that would be the right defenseman. And we are going to... Uh, uh, yeah, we'll lose to the right defenseman. And that is Coburn. And he is the home guy. And opponent defense 12. Opponent defense 12 is the left defenseman. And that is takes the puck away. But there's nothing more Chicago can do. And that's how the game ends. Your final score is Philadelphia 3, Chicago 2 in a hell of a game. And that'll be it for me. Sports Manzi, Bob Zolke, signing off.